Infectious diseases don't know anything about international borders, don't care anything about social structures. It doesn't matter where the infection starts. It will center and cluster and congregate in society's most vulnerable. I went to medical school in Uganda in Africa at a time when most of our patients were HIV patients and there were no options for treatment. Back in Colombia, where people were dying from HIV and AIDS complications, there was nothing that medicine could offer for them. I was really influenced to make HIV my career because of that link between infectious diseases and being an advocate for rights and justice. I was drawn to Gilead because of its rich scientific legacy, also because of its bold ambitions to end the HIV epidemic for everyone, everywhere. HIV is a complex virus. It took us a number of years to realize that the virus mutates. So it's a challenge to figure out how to sort of extricate that piece of viral DNA once it becomes integrated. It's crazy to think that within my own lifetime, we figured out what the virus was and developed therapies for it. PrEP has really made a difference in certain communities, especially young, black, gay, and Latino men. In discovering new medicines, there is no roadmap. But what really separates scientists is just this raw determination to solve these problems. And then it's the Eureka moment. It's as if all of Gilead embraces you at that moment because they all took part. Gilead has 35 years of focusing on great medicines, but we know it's not reaching people who need it because of stigma. HIV prevention to me is about combating stigma and combating shame that people have felt. I found myself oftentimes having to navigate the bias that existed in the healthcare system. And it took me to have to advocate for myself Today in the United States, there are about 1.1 million people living with HIV. It's important to note that there's a much greater concentration in the U.S. South and in urban areas. So we try to partner with organizations who are trusted members of these communities to co-create and co-develop programs that will allow people to take control of their destiny. We have a variety of programs, like our flagship initiative, Compass, which is $100 million over the course of 10 years addressing HIV in the South. But you can't sit in an ivory tower. It means putting your resources with the right organizations that's doing the right work to have the right impact. Going after an HIV cure presents one of the greatest scientific challenges of our time. It may be a moonshot, but we're not running kind of blindly towards it. There are days, of course, when the complexity can seem overwhelming. And then, in the middle of one of those days, I'll have a meeting with someone who's just solved a tiny problem in that big complexity. And I'll think, okay, the whole thing can come together. And together, we're building a road towards solving the unsolvable. And we really need to be working on all those issues together in a unified way with a common purpose. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but if we are persistent about it and really smart about it, then I think we will get there. I look forward to the day when I'm able to talk possibly to my grandkids <laughs> and say to them that I worked at Gilead and we helped in this horrible epidemic we can, in partnership with people all around the world, all come together to figure out how to end this epidemic. An important part of that is the creativity, the innovation, to be able to give people treatment and prevention options that they can choose to find the thing that works for them. <laughs>